Okay, I'm going to pick back up here. Okay, in the last video, we saw that in Nehemiah chapter 12, verse 27, this is where the Lord took me um, Sunday morning, and I had prayed Saturday night um, about where he was going to take me and what he was going to teach me next. And I specifically asked him, now not to teach me about it, but to... Um, to let me know one way or another um, if there was something going on with Thanksgiving because there are several people that have put out a word uh, where Thanksgiving is connected to it or the date of Thanksgiving, which is November the 28th. Okay, so here we saw in verse 27 how that they were calling. See, this is something we've got to look into. The Levites, and the Lord has showed me a lot about these Levites, okay, and how they are um, a type of the bride, okay? They're symbolic of the bride, and here they are. They're going to keep the dedication with gladness, both with thanksgiving and with singing. So it's going to be with thanksgiving and with praise, because that, that's what the singing is about. When we make, here it says, with cymbals, psalteries, and with harps. So when we make music and song to the Lord, it's all about praise. And praise and thanksgiving go hand in hand. Because you're praising the Lord and you're thanking Him for all the wonderful things that He does. Okay? I wanted to point out in this particular chapter... How we have, um, well, let me read this first. Oh, excuse me. I'm about to lose everything. Uh, how we have in chapter 12. Well, first we start up here where it, it says, Now these are the priests and the Levites that went up with Zerubbabel, I don't know how to pronounce that. Please, don't even ask me to. The son of, don't ask me to pronounce that either. But anyway, it goes through all these different names. And then when we get to the end of them, it says, These were the chief of the priest and of their brethren in the days of Jesh Jeshua. I think I can say that one. Moreover, the Levites, Jeshua, Benui, Cadmiel, Sheba, and Judah, and Methania. And then this is important right here, which was over the thanksgiving. He and his brethren, they were over the thanksgiving. Okay, so here we see a specific reference to what has been um, celebrated as the Thanksgiving. So um, what I wanted to point out further in this chapter is how many times we see a reference to giving thanks in this one chapter. And I think I've marked them all. Okay, so we're going to count right here. Here's one. This says give thanks, to give thanks, to praise and to give thanks, I might add. That's two. And then we've got Thanksgiving here is three. Then we've got, uh, let's see. Of them that gave thanks, that's four. Here again we have in verse 38. And the other companies of them that gave thanks, that's five. Here again in verse 40, it says, So stood the two companies of them that gave thanks, that's six. And here is the last one. And it says, There were chief 
of the singers and songs of praise and thanksgiving unto God. That's seven references. And there we have that magical number seven. Seven references to thanksgiving and giving thanks within this one chapter that the Lord has taken me to after I ask him to show me about um, whether or not thanksgiving uh, played a part in things that are fixing to take place is pretty much how I ask it and that either way for him to let me know. And then the very next time I open my Bible, I get a chapter that has seven references to thanksgiving or giving thanks. So I don't find that to be coincidental. But now I, I do want to point out we've got a lot of ground to cover to to get to a clear understanding because um, the Lord has showed me some different directions we're going in and he's starting to put the pieces out there for me. But as far as them falling together, that has yet to come. Um, so first thing I want to point out is this right here where it says more over the Levites. And then it gives all their names. It says which was over the thanksgiving okay we need to look into that these levites and they were over thanksgiving and over here we see another reference to them they sought the levites out of their all their places to bring them to jerusalem to keep the dedication okay we also see a reference in ezra uh, chapter 6, verses 16 and 17, and it reads, And the children of Israel, the priests and the Levites, and the rest of the children of the captivity, kept the dedication of this house of God with joy, and offered at the dedication of this house of God an hundred bullock, two hundred rams, four hundred lambs, and for a sin offering for all Israel, Twelve he goats, according to the number of the tribes of Israel. Okay, I just want to point that out because that is a different dedication, but it's a dedication, it says, of this house of God. So it's a dedication of the temple. And what we're going to be looking at is how the dedication of the temple, the Feast of Dedication. Now, Hanukkah actually means it's a hebrew word that means dedication okay so hanukkah you could read this is uh here they sent for the levites uh out of their places to bring them to jerusalem to keep the hanukkah with gladness both with thanksgiving and with singing and cymbals and psaltery and with harps so um we see the connection with Hanukkah and Thanksgiving, and we know that they both fall on the same day. What we're going to look into next is the significance of these priests and these Levites. And I'll be back with that. Thank you.